on this episode of BevNerd Podcast. Today, I'm trying from Arizona. This is Cherry Lime Ricky. It is the 20th anniversary, and it's a sparkling cherry lime drink. Check out more about it on BevNerd. Welcome to Bevner Video Podcast. This is episode 147, three away from 150, if uh, my math and magics uh, serve me correctly. And on this episode, like I said, I'm trying from Arizona. This is the 20th anniversary, I guess, of the Arizona beverage. This is a Brooklyn original. It says so on the can, so you gotta believe it. This is Cherry Lime Ricky. Arizona is a brand of uh, that's probably best known for their big ass cans of tea. Um, in this case, this is a big ass can of sparkling cherry lime drink. Um, this can was 99 cents. I found it at Johnson's Giant Foods. Um, you can check out their website at drinkarizona.com. This actually comes with 10% juice in it. Uh, no preservatives, no artificial flavors or colors. And the artwork was done by an Arizona fan and design contest winner, Kenny Vidinich from One Vibe Creative Studios. Vidinich. Okay. I believe that's right. Um, some of the... Uh, Ingredients just so happen to be carbonated filtered water, high fructose corn syrup, pear juice, mango puree, uh, cherry juice, lemon juice, strawberry juice, uh, bu- 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 uh, la- 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 uh-oh, sucralose, um, Ace K. So it does have a blend of artificial sweeteners and regular sweeteners, and one serving has 25% of your daily need of vitamin C. 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 Okay. Anyways, um, I picked this up because I thought the can looked really cool. It does have some really good artwork, so kudos to uh, Kenny on that. And another is it says Ricky, and I don't know what a Ricky is, but when I think of Ricky, I think of a childhood friend's dad whose name's Ricky, and uh, he had a beard and talked about being watched by the government a lot. Um, anyways, we won't, talk, we won't spend too much time on Ricky, uh, but uh, lots of memories from that guy. And it's cool. It's got like a white top on it with a red pop top. Let me pour this in my Bevner.com glass. So we want to check out the color. Because like we've been discussing since episode one, and I've kind of slacked off on it, is colors are cool. It has a nice pink translucent color, kind of cloudy. Wow, it smells pretty good. Definitely get cherry, lime, I smell mango. That's for real. A little bit of tartness. It definitely has like a a pretty good like fruit juice consistency that's carbonated in the mouth. And as um, if we're talking about uh, fruit juice and beverages that are carbonated, it definitely has more fruit juice feel and taste, and uh, probably a wider uh, flavor palette than like a Kickstart Mountain Dew Kickstart. Um, Mmm, that's really good. It had, definitely has more flavors in it than the cherry and the lime. You get strawberry too, I get that. The mango is there, very there. And like the lemon and lime are there too and they work together. Making this a really good drink. This would be a really good drink in the summertime if I'm just like sweating to death. I'm really wanting something um, light, refreshing, carbonated and sweet. This is really, really good. And uh, sometimes um, you can judge a can by its can art. And I do like this a lot. And I don't know if you'll be able to find this. I know there's, Arizona has a butt ton of different flavors in these big, big cans, um, big bottles, big stuff. Um, Arizona is a good value drink, um, but it doesn't taste like a value drink. I do like this a lot and re- recommend this a lot too. And something I really, the, the best part about it is all these fruit flavors are legit tasting. They're not artificial tasting and they have a real juice mouthfeel but the carbonation uh, makes me enjoy it just a little bit more. The flavors come out because of all the, like, the bubbles. The bubbles, they tickle my nose and my taste buds. Mmm. I would highly recommend that. I would give, um, as far as a BevNerd beverage review rating, I would give this an A. This is great. Um, 
I know that sometimes when you say something with high fructose corn syrup, it can get a little bit on the syrupy side in the mouthfeel. Not getting a whole lot of that. It's pretty much negated because it does have other blends of other sweeteners in it, artificial or not. It does take that uh, syrupy mouthfeel down a notch. But, um, and also some of that syrupy mouthfeel is kind of masked by the fruit juice in there because they're just thicker because it's juice. Mm. Very, very tasty. Very, very good. Definitely pick this up. If there's any other cool 20th anniversary cans, I'd probably pick those up and try them too. Because um, this is a cool can that I'll probably keep. Anyways, that's my review of Arizona Cherry Lime Ricky. Ricky! And if you're one of my friends I used to backyard wrestle with, you will be laughing thinking about old Ricky. Um, if you want to check out more BevNerd, go to BevNerd.com. It's Tumblr based, so if you're a cool cat, you can follow us straight on there and get all these new blogs right to your feed along with uh, Doctor Who stuff, food, and sometimes boobs. Um, you can send me an email at bevnerd at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at bevnerd, same thing on Instagram. And if you use Facebook like a couple people do, facebook.com slash bevnerd as well. So I want to thank you for checking it out. Goodbye.